Good day, and today we're going to cover how to upload PDFs and link to them within WordPress slash Divi, and it'll make it very easy for your users to see that content that you've created. So first things first, have a PDF. I've created a very simple one, but it's also amazing. You'll see that in a second. And to upload it, first we're going to go to the media section here of the WordPress dashboard. I'm going to go to add new, select files. It'll be in my desktop here. You see best PDF. That's what I've called it. There it is. And so the second step here is you're going to want to click on that guy and copy URL to the clipboard. And then we're going to go to a page that we're going to link it to. So I'm going to go onto this page here, enable the visual builder. Give that a second to load. It's a pretty intricate page. There we are. And so I'm going to scroll down to a resources pop up. We're using the Divi pop ups um, plugin here. So this is actually the content of a pop up that opens when resources is clicked. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to add a new link to this list. Your visual builder will make this way more appealing. Mine does not show that, unfortunately. So I'm actually just going to take over this third link here. I'm going to say example PDF. I'm going to change the href. This is the same thing as if in the visual builder you would right click and say edit link. And you want it to link to that uh, URL that you copied before, except you want to take this part off so that you're just showing the slash. This way, if you ever change the domain or address of your website, it'll still link to the PDF because it's a relative path, not a uh, exact path. So you can just see this trailing slash here. Everything else is the same all the way down to the, where the PDF is located. And then it's good to make sure that target equals underscore blank here. Uh, this is the same as checking the box that says open this link in a new tab. This way people will open the PDF, but they won't get confused by being taken away from your site. It'll just open a new tab. They can read it, download it, and then close the tab of the PDF. So I'm going to hit this checkbox here. Go down here and hit save. And once we see our confirmation check mark, then I'm going to right click open in a new tab to see the live version of the site. Scroll down, click resources. Now we can see we have example PDF. And if we click on that in a new tab, we'll see our PDF. And this is the PDF that I created as an example. And then people can come in and download it, do what they need to do, read it, and then close this. And they're still on the site. They're not confused or taken away from your important content. So that is all you need to know about uploading and linking to PDFs in WordPress and Divi. If you have any questions, if I missed anything, please leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, have a fantastic day.